This is the first time I've ever like DM the girl, and it was crazy, bro. I felt like a little kid. I sent I sent her a message, and then I just dropped my phone like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up wait can we have jj lead us into the episode with that can he do the that. intro i feel like it's not up to us can i can i swear yeah yeah okay hey yo what's up and welcome to <laughs> yeah impulsive yeah let's go let's go, <laughs> let's go dude Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. If you are not listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing, do all of those right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have KSI back on the podcast. Welcome, JJ, to Los Angeles and America. Hey, yo, it's been two oh. years. Two years since I've come uh, from... Uh, <laughs> I haven't not in two, two years. Yeah, two years since I've come, bro. <laughs> It's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah, because the whole as soon as I landed. I did that too. I did that too. Can, can I uh, get turned up in the headphones a little yeah, more? I I'd little like more to too, hear yeah. about our, JJ our nutting a little louder. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Today is some R nut. Uh, Sorry. What a what a shitty start. <laughs> no, this is actually great, dude. <laughs> dude. It's good to have you. It's yeah, good to have it's great you. Good to be here, man. Again. Again. Wow, I made it. <laughs> With Mike this time. Yes. I know how much he wanted to be. I, did, <laughs> I miss you on the first yeah, one, man. George stole the, he stole the show. It was good. Though. We made yeah. your music video, bro. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look good yes, as a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's our most viewed podcast. The last one that you were on. Oh, it's most viewed now. Most yeah. viewed podcast. And honestly, probably probably the the best we've had, too. The content. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Dude, rich. I wouldn't yeah, have changed yeah, one thing about it. It. Mm -mm. it was yeah, fucking. It was, it was like it had everything, like. Humor, you know, seriousness, and then it was just like wholesome as well. So, so no pressure on this one. Fuck. Yeah, no, shit. <laughs> no, no, no. But now we're chilling. You guys got the tough stuff out of the way. You got your like your your moment to you know rekindle and become mm. friends, and now we get to have fun. Yeah, on this one, I get to party and just D <laughs> dig deep into the brain of of KSI <laughs> and figure out what all those cryptic tweets are about. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh, what bro, is going bro, on? just start bro, like that, bro. I'm single in it, so I'm just going through. Oh my God. No, but I know you were traveling yesterday. I know you were on the plane. Yeah, bro. And I'm looking at your tweets. Bro, it's whenever I'm alone. Whenever I'm, I'm alone and I'm listening to certain music, I just get my feels and I'm like, fuck, I miss her, man. <laughs> I should text her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Using bro. the plane's Wi Fi. Yeah. But, but, but you tweeted this. Oh, what God. Is, what is true love? Oh. Did someone give you the answer? Because if they did, let me know. Um, all right, I, I go. Random ass answers. People were just like, oh, just just sell everything you have and give it to me. <laughs> I was like, what? How is that true? <laughs> it's a one sided deal. Yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> then the next one, how can I love someone when I don't love myself? That's the one I want to dive into. Yeah, yeah. no, it's true. It's, it's it's actually true. Like with that one, that's that was some, something I was just thinking about. Like it's if you don't ever like feel good in yourself, how can you ever feel good? To be with someone else, essentially. Mm. The I, reason why I'm interested in that is I can relate to that a lot, mm. a, a ton, dude. Like I've had that feeling a lot myself. Is is there, is that something that you've dealt with your, yourself your whole life? Yeah, no, like, I think it's just something I, you know, I'm. I, it's weird to say, but I am still dealing with, you know, just to be at a point where I'm like, hundred percent happy with like how I am and how I've, you know, like who I've become, because, especially, you know, these past few years, it's been. Boss, man, everything's you know been happening with the boxing, with the music, even with YouTube side, man. Like, bro, like the the amount we're making is just stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, and I I just didn't ever think we'd ever be at a point where we'd be making that much and you know we'd be together, you know, killing it. So I think it's just been a lot for me to try and figure out who I you know who I am, what I am. And I think I had a little bit of an identity crisis as well. Or what's what's, what's existential yeah. crisis? Like no, yeah. no. Um, it's um when I don't believe I should be in the position I'm in, personality disorder or something like that. Or like, is it like dis disassociating or uh, something like that? I I, I don't. What's that? Imposter syndrome. Imposter, Imposter syndrome. syndrome. There, there, is. Go. there it is. Thanks, Dylan, the producer. Um, if, if you don't mind me asking, what do you mean? Like you don't feel like you deserve what you have? Well, it's kind of just like 
I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I just don't. I don't understand how I've gotten the position I'm in. If that makes sense. I saw. Yeah. I, I saw something on Instagram yesterday that helped me a lot with that because. I, I'm the type of dude that would work on something so much mm. and still think I'm lazy and I'm not good enough to be yeah, in that position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a football coach talking to his kids and it, it, it fucked me up. He said, the, the hardest worker in the room still thinks he's the laziest. Mm. Yeah. And he goes, and the laziest person in the room thinks he's the hardest worker. Yeah. And that really made me feel good about myself because I was like, damn, maybe I should stop putting so much pressure on my Yeah, name. yeah. And I feel like that's what I've been doing these past, like literally the last few months, I've really just tried to home, you know, home it in and just take my time and just really appreciate everything that I've done and everything that I've got. You know, I, I even like recently got a therapist because I was like, I just need one. I need to be able to, you know, talk to someone about my thoughts and my feelings and how I, and what the fuck's going on with my life. Because it's just, sometimes it can get a bit too much to the point where I didn't want to lose myself mm. and just, you know, well, yeah, essentially get lost in the source and just, start going crazy or doing the madness and that's, doing things I regret. So that's really healthy, man. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. It, it's so fun. Yeah. It's so funny. We literally live parallel lives. I also I just, just got a therapist. Well, fuck off. <laughs> Today, fuck really. oh. I swear to God. Oh, yeah. Really? I swear yeah. to God. Oh my God. <laughs> so, and, and, and bro, I, I, I don't know if you'd call it whining, but uh, I, I whine all the time to them about like, wh why me in this life? Why, yeah. why me here in this studio? Like yeah, what, yeah. what did I do to deserve this? And, and I don't understand it, and that sends me in a bit of a, a tizzy because, and you were outlining this last night that in your thirties, evidently this uh, sort of identity crisis and the worsens and the why 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 yeah because <laughs> you think you have it figured out. You're everybody in their twenties is like, oh, I got this shit all figured out. I, yeah, I, I got I got it now. You know, especially when you do have success and that kind of thing. But then as you, I think I think at some point you have this realization that like. Yo, holy shit, did I spend so much time creating this career, this persona, this online personality that I didn't focus on any of my own personal growth? Yeah. Is that something that you like? That's exactly it. That's exactly it. I've just been focused on just my career the whole time, the whole time. And I really neglected, like, you know, I, I guess family and even my relationship. I think that's one of the reasons why it kind of just fell apart because I just didn't give it time. I didn't nurture it. I kind of just just was so focused on my career and you know don't get me wrong I, you know i'm doing well with my career but like it you kind of need that life work balance and i feel like i just didn't have that it was all just work you live in the future yeah that's it, that can be terrible for the soul. wait live wait what <laughs> you live in the future so like i I, ta <laughs> I tell this to my friends that live in the future so like people that are always planning and they're always working and like you have a good relationship but instead of sitting here and like enjoying it you're like yes. i gotta work really hard yeah. so my family doesn't have to struggle yeah, i can yeah, set yeah. myself up but i always tell people the present is a present from god so enjoy it you yes. have to be in the moment i like i like when you do cool things like that with words mm. thanks the present <laughs> is a present from god yeah do you overthink um Yes and no. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't, which is exactly what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> he overthinks. Well, I over do. Like yeah. I over do it. The <laughs> <laughs> so yes, he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just one of those things where sometimes it, it could just be as simple as, oh, okay, this music video. What do I want to do with it? And then I try to overthink it when it can just be so simple as, oh, we can just be in a field and we can it can literally just be me and the camera and that just the connection between that mm. essentially ra rather than me just trying to overthink and then essentially not get anything done mm. because of it or just slow down everything and just not get where i want to get to because of it so i'm often plagued by the thoughts in my head always just like crossing paths and going which direction mm. they're fucking fireworks and i find that when those thoughts Especially, and maybe now it's amplified a little more because yeah. of this whole weed withdrawal thing I'm yeah, like going yeah. through and like uh, I'm just thinking about everything. When my thoughts are focused on work and my career and my business and the things I'm passionate about, mm. my overthinking actually isn't bad, right? Because it, 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 it translates directly into a, a, a product. Yeah, uh, you get to see it. Exactly. Like, oh, you, you think and it happens and exactly. look, you go, yeah. But when it comes to like interpersonal relationships, oh bro, and girls bro, oh bro, and, it's the worst, oh, man. man. Like, it's nothing worse than you, like, you know, being in a relationship, and then all of a sudden you just overthink something that she said, and you mm. just know it's not that deep. Mm. But then you're overthinking, like, wait, why did she say uh, she loves me without exes? 
Like, what's what's going on? Like, I don't get what it. A, like, what a bitch. where's the my puzzle. two exes? Like, we always have two exes. Why she just says, and I love that's you? That's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I see it sometimes. I'm like, this girl's British. I didn't <laughs> Did you, um, do you, I sometimes feel like overthinking is the curse of a, a gifted and creative mind. Mm. And I, I really do believe that. I believe that people that have a, a creative outlook and uh, and live in the world that, that you guys and that we all do, do uh, are prone to overthinking from time to time. Would you trade it for a blissful ignorance? Would you trade it to be happy sitting on a recliner after a nine to five and being at complete peace with yourself and maybe a, a loved one and being able to focus your energy on that? I think I would, you know. I think I would. I think there's something nice about just being at peace. Like, you know, I was talking to my mate, Calix, about this. It's crazy with, like, I don't want to say normal people, but, like, with people who, would, for example, just don't have, like, a crazy lifestyle, don't have, like, YouTube, all this other stuff. They just have a normal nine to five. And then just something as simple as walking the dog can just give them so much joy. Whereas, like, for me, it's like that is just like a mundane task. So I don't know. It's just like I lose the. I feel like at some point I, I'm struggling to find joy in things, which is weird. Like I think because of the career that we've been in, it's just always just the next level, next level, next level, next level, and we never get to appreciate the little levels. So then something as simple as I know going on holiday, we don't really appreciate, you know, what it's like to go on holiday and just enjoy ourselves and just rest because you're just still thinking like, shit, I really should be doing something or mm. hmm, like, I feel like I've spent enough time outside now. Maybe I should do something else. But, but it's never like, oh, you can't just enjoy the moment. And I think that's just the career we're in. Mm. I think that's just how it is. And I think that's one of the reasons why I was like, I need to see a therapist because this is not okay. This is not okay with me just not enjoying things anymore. You're coasting. Yeah, I felt yeah. like I just, I'm just in this zone. It's funny. You're gonna have you're gonna have to train yourself to learn how to relax again. Yeah. To yeah. learn how to slow down. Yeah. And and ironically, I thought, and this is just from an outsider's perspective, mm. I thought you had always been good at that especially because you had a girlfriend and oftentimes a, a, a girlfriend will, yeah. s will slow you down kind of pull you yeah, back yeah, yeah. So, into reality yeah so she did she helped me a lot with that but then it got to a point where it was just it was impossible for t for her to take me out of the matrix because i was always on like you know we'd be chilling watching like a movie or something and i was always just looking at my phone like all the time and she would just get so frustrated. She'd be like, why can't you just turn off? And I'm like, I can't because you never know. Like, there's always something I might need to, you know, sort out or, you know, deal with, et cetera. So mm. it's one of those things where it's, you know, I, I, these past few months, I've really, like, especially with the therapist, man, I can't, like, I can't say enough how amazing a therapist is because it's mental health, man. And I feel like it's as important as physical health. And with physical health, you always have to keep it up. Same with mental health. You mm. can't, it's not something where you complete mm. and then you're good. Like you always need to look. But yeah, I feel like with a therapist, it's helped me really identify what I need to do in my life. So I'm like, okay, cool. I need to learn to say no to things. I need to learn to disappoint people and upset people because I need to think about myself because I am the most important person to me. If I don't care about myself, then what the fuck like, how am i gonna really care about anything else mm. with, with with anything i do so that's kind of just like the space i'm in and you know just trying to uh, learn and appreciate the small things and just i guess find fun in things again mm. yeah the power of no oh bro it's crazy bro i <laughs> like i think most of my life has been me saying yes to so many things. But I think that's kind of like a childhood thing because when I was younger, the idea of saying no to my parents, fucking hell, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, wooden spoon, yes. all the fucking- Yeah, yeah there yeah. we go. We all just talked slippers, about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the things coming out and you're getting beat. <laughs> it's like, 
Hey, yo, you washing the plates? Yes, mum. <laughs> yes. Are you uh, doing, uh, are you cleaning your room? Yes, mum. I'm doing everything. Yes, yes, yes. So I think that's just been in ingrained into me. So now in, you know, normal day-to-day -day life, I always just say yes to things. And I don't realize that it just, it's slowly taking a Draining. piece Draining. of me. Yeah, Draining. over and over and over. And then eventually it just, it kind of just explodes into this thing and I just lose all sense of myself. And direction. You yeah. gotta protect you gotta protect the energy that you put into little things. He's always been very good at it. And I think mm. him and him and Jeff combined have been very good at protecting him from every every 30 second conversation you have with someone that isn't aligned with your goal in life is, yes. is sucks energy out of yes, you. Yes, exactly. And so I, I, it's got to be tough for you guys because you have so many people. Mm. I won't I won't I won't do it now anymore. Um I, my delivery s s fucking sucks, uh, yeah. which is why which is why I'm seeing if they're like that's my main issue. Yeah, like, yeah. Cuz when I say no, sometimes fuck, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> so with no C, just F U K. And don't oh, do it to me. No. If you're busy, <laughs> fuck off. I'd be like, "Yo, what do you what do you do? Fuck off." Oh, wow. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just, no, do it no, no, no. He's getting better. His therapist told him to stop spitting in our face. Like, no, no, no. He just like, fuck off. I was like, dude. <laughs> no, like, uh, like this. Maybe this is the worst example ever because, like, everyone should probably do what I'm about to say. But, like, man, the amount of people I have that come up to me and they're like, yo, dude. So I have this project. It has like oh. NFTs. Oh. I'll go stop. Oh, I will not do this with you now yeah. or ever. But, and that's mean, but also, I don't I don't feel bad about it. I, yeah, that's yeah, my so. energy, dude. Like, like your energy is your currency. Yeah. For everyone listening, your energy is your currency. Yeah. How much are you worth? Yeah. Because if you're just giving, 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 yeah, giving, yeah, giving yeah, 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 eventually yeah. you're worth zero dollars. Yeah. You're at the end of the day, and you're like, who the fuck am I? What yeah. what, what yeah. do I have left for me? <laughs> what have I done? Exactly. What have I accomplished? Yeah, yeah, it's so true. And I think I need to get better at doing that. And I am. I am. Like this year, I told myself. You know, 2021 was a great year for my career, but 2022 is going to be a great year for me, essentially. I like I that. that yeah. Too, yeah. I like that a lot. And that's and that's why we're here today, right? You guys are, are starting on a, a, a new endeavor that is extremely promising. From I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole morning, he's been going around going, Prom! <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Holy shit. We, we started a, a beverage company, a hydration drink my called drink. Prime Hydration. Uh, we are going to rival the biggest brands in the world: Gatorade, Powerade, uh, Pepsi, Pepsi, Coke. Pepsi, Coke. Everything. I mean, it's Th yeah. The, uh, the idea that us, <laughs> us YouTubers. <laughs> no, not just YouTubers. Yeah. You two. Well, yeah, you yeah. Two. With oh, one of the against, biggest beefs. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's it's it crazy how it came about. Crazy how we've just in six months, bro. Like I still have the DM you messaged me with, being like, "Yo, I've got an idea." <laughs> Dude, you know how hard that was for me? Yo, shit, really? Well, because, dude, like, how how do you just go to someone who is, like, historically, like, y'all hated each other. Yeah, like, we yeah, hated yeah, each yeah, other, yeah, dude. Yeah. Or at least had to convince ourselves that we, we hated each other, yeah, right? It's yeah. hard to get in a boxing ring and fight someone that you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, 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 uh, I had this idea, and I was mm. like, dude, JJ would be the perfect partner for this. And, and we had the podcast, and we had kind of made amends, and we had reconciled. Mm. Um, but you know, we still weren't hundred percent sure, and so bringing you and pitching you anything is yeah. difficult. Let alone, oh, bro, bro, I, you know, like I'm always like really like touchy when it comes to anything. Of course, like I don't just say yes. Of course, and when it comes to like business, well, it's, you it's, just it's, said you did say yes. Well, well, well no, well, that's You're what I mean. Well, I mean, no, 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 <laughs> with, <laughs> the no, 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 no. Let me wash your dishes. Yes, <laughs> in your room. Yes. Well, with business, <laughs> obviously, it's different because it's like. The brand and you've worked of course, towards, of course. yeah, that, right. and, and you have layers too. I went through yeah, your manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I told your manager about it first because yeah. I, I said, "Hey, I have this idea. I'd love to tell um, whoever a contact on your team." And then I, I kind of massaged it to him. I, I went the professional route. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it worked. Why? What? What intrigued you about it? I'm curious, like what well, you liked about it. Well, so I've always wanted to do a hydration drink. It's so funny. Like I was actually working on one. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, I, and then you came up to me with this idea. I was like, "Fuck off!" <laughs> but then I was the like, "Same person." It's really weird. Yeah. But then, you know, I was like, "Okay." I wanted to make sure, like, it has everything that I'd want it to have. So I, I didn't want it to just be like a, a Pepsi or Coke, mm. where it's got like 
150 calories mm. per drink or even more. I think it's crazy amounts in America, but like I wanted something with, you know, low calories. I wanted something that tasted good. And, you know, it was something you could just drink every day and it was all right. Mm. And I didn't feel like shit after it. And I was like, cool, let's make sure that happens. Mm. And you're like, cool, let's work on it. And boom. Six months later, we have Six three million bottles have- going to Walmart, <laughs> Target, Kroger, CVS, Ralph's, GNC, Bro. Vitamin Shop. Oh, I'm sorry, it's what? Exactly. How does that happen? It's, yeah, the whole thing's surreal. I, I think it, for me, it's still taking a while to process. Like even today when we were like going through all the, the stock and just checking it all out and just having it in our hands again, mm. just really just embracing the whole moment. It's just, yeah, it's surreal, it's man. Be, our faces are on the van. Oh, bro, bro. it's odd. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but it's 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 funny because for me it seemed it just it just made so much sense. This is by the way how I'm making decisions now. Mm. If something is so like fucking blatantly obvious, yeah, I almost like have to take it. Like in my opinion, um, the the hydration beverages that are on the market right now are like either a not good for you b tastes yeah. like shit or c yes. are archaic as fuck gatorade's been around for 15 years has 120 calories it's it's so high in sugar is fucking garbage yeah man why has no one uh effectively made a drink that is actually better for you and um <clears throat> is affordable and tastes good it that's looks- it it's the most important thing like it just has to taste good and I, I uh, like same with like what was it? Um, is it Lucasade Sport? Like I hate. Like, is that is that a British? Uh, that's a British, yeah, uh-huh. a British drink. <laughs> <laughs> us, us Yankees don't have uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, like I, I I drink that and be like, this tastes like fucking shit, shit yeah. man. Yeah. And but like I'm like, how the fuck am I ever gonna get anywhere near of like creating a drink where I can make it taste good and put it in stores? Well, that's the thing. We do have a. A little bit of a secret weapon. Our, yeah, our, yeah. our, manu- <laughs> our manufacturers are <laughs> fucking wizards. Yes, we have very, so very, very good team. Good. But, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad y'all said yes. This journey is going to be incredible. I'm man. so excited, like that we've created this thing, and yeah, I feel, I feel bad because we're like pulling you in so many different directions. Like you have to come to LA. No, 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 no. But you came to the UK. That is, that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. we you know we did a you know, little. But, but I only came there. there for Prime. You're doing like ten different things here during your, <laughs> this week, no? Yeah, just like music. Um, working on my next album. Yeah, Sick. just like you know Sick. writing and and, a few and, and that too. That guy right there. What's that guy doing? Oh, I'm a singer. <laughs> <laughs> Wes, big boy Wes. So he's been filming me the whole time since around June. Just mo- like literally my whole life. Just what's going on, dude? You like him, I assume, huh? Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Yeah, yeah he's cool. <laughs> he's yeah, bro. He's seen me, you know, the highs and the lows. <laughs> so, so, I mean, not to get into, but when you were going through all the yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, 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 oh, everything, man. yeah. <laughs> and it was just him, right? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, he just essentially mainly him. That was my, that's my one concern. Um, uh, uh, about filming everything is sometimes mm. when shit gets a little too real. Yeah. I like to turn the cameras off. Yeah. But you kept them going. Just kept it going. Man. Oh my God. That's a- <laughs> I, I, I'm sure the people are going to love that. <laughs> that's what I was just going to say. That's what made that transparency, honesty, well, yeah. and just like always on nature. That's what makes or breaks programs, content, everything. Yeah. Like if you're willing to just go out and say, yo, we never turn the cameras off during the harshest moments, during the moments yeah, where I was yeah, completely, yeah. you know, fucked. We let you watch all that. That's the, that's what sells. That's what really makes people tune in. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, I've always just been an honest person and like, I've always just been a person that just goes, yeah, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to try and pretend that, you know, things are, are working out when they're not. It's just it's just how it is. And I think people are going to really see, like, a completely different side to what they normally see online. When online, I'm always, like, happy or, you know, like, or, you know, decent and having fun, et cetera. Whereas, a lot, you know, a lot of times people don't see what, goes on behind the scenes how much work goes into like creating the things that people see all the time you know what i think about a lot i'm gonna i'm gonna try to iterate this in the best way possible yeah yeah but it's very hard um okay so like you just described people are gonna see a side of you maybe they haven't seen before yeah 
Okay, but now add that to the uh, uh, diagram, the vent or the the pie chart that people of things that of sides of you that people have already seen. seen. Yeah, yeah, basically like people really fucking know you. Yes. as as they do most digital cr content creators. That's why that's why um, creators, YouTubers, influencers are able to create such a large audience that mm. that really falls in love with them because they know you, right? When yeah. people see me in the street, it's like. What they you go, see is what you get. Yeah, yeah, they go, oh, yo, what's up, Logan? Bingo. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Bingo. It's not like, oh, shit, Logan Paul's there, and they just move on. They, what, they'll just come up to you and be like, oh, hey, how you doing? Which I love, and it's yeah. it's part of the biggest blessings of being um, in this career because a lot of, uh, you know, maybe A-list celebrities, you don't really know who they are. You just see mm. their work. So my question is, as someone who is doing um, uh, traditional work and art, like music, yeah. um, like Basically, sometimes separating art from the person is hard, and sometimes the art is better than the person, right? Like, how many mm. times uh, do you see or hear or watch uh, a piece of work, and then like the you meet the person in real life, and they fucking suck, suck. and yeah, now and now yeah. it ruins it for you because you don't like the person, so you don't appreciate the art. But mm. people know so much about you yeah. that I wonder if it—I don't know if inhibits is the word, but affects how people consume your music, for example, or, or, or any other body of work that you do besides media? Hmm, that's a big ass question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I, I don't no, know. No, 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 I know exactly yeah. what you mean. It's just how to try and answer it. Um, I'm, worried about, I'm worried about showing too much of me and, and, and doing too much when I want to create like a body of work that I, like I want to be completely removed from who I am. Yeah, I think with me, like, a lot of people, I don't, a lot of people have seen all the things that they see online, obviously, but things like family, things like my relationships, things like, you know, what I love, et cetera, what I do, that's not on camera. Um, people don't know. So it's kind of like, there's still always that sense of mystery. Like, mm. even when I was, you know, with my ex, no one knew who she was. Like, there was still this air of mystery, like, who is she? Blah blah blah. We're all intrigued, and you know, I still hold things back. And obviously, with Amazon, like they, you know, they're gonna show things, but it's only for like a glimpse. They only get to show it for that period, mm. and then after the, after it, the filming's done, like then there's the air of mystery again because it's like, oh, what happens next? next yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I feel like with music, it's. I think that's that's why with with, with certain music, people are intrigued to figure out like what's going on in in their head what's going on and like you know i think that's why a lot of people want to know what is going on in my head what am i thinking like you know if i made another album of me just being like oh i got tons of girls i got tons of money blah blah this blah blah that it's kind of just like people already know that like yeah, yeah. well people know that i can you know <laughs> <laughs> Like if I had to talk about all the pictures I could get, and the money in my people know that. What am I gonna Good bother look them at me. with? Common sense. <laughs> no, no, but but it's it's like to be expected. It's yeah, like sure. you know, I'm. It's already been. I'm done. famous. Yeah. I'm I'm I've got money. Obviously, women are going to be there. But it's kind of like when I talk about my feelings and what's going on in my head, and you know, I'm torn between, you know, wanting to be with my ex or wanting to find a new relationship or mm. figuring out where my life is and mm. you know why I have to go see a therapist and stuff like that. And talking about that stuff, that's stuff people just don't normally hear and are intrigued about. Mm. And I feel 100%. like that's why it's it's like a, a lane that I want to kind of venture into and really, you know, mm. make music on. That's that's like the age old thing. It's like as you watch an, uh, a person in music or movies, as you watch their art rise, you generally start to see their their protection of their personal life rise with it. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And so, like like you said, to protect either their art form or their or their you know their personal space or whatever. But in this creator age, what you're doing by talking about mental health to millions of people, by mm. talking about you know, seeing a therapist by talking about yeah. your 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 deepest, darkest stuff. That's what the people want. Yeah. That's what the people really want. And that's what allows you guys to create a product that will be a, a billion dollar brand. Yeah. Because yeah. because people don't want any more sugar coated money bitches. I got a Rolls Royce yeah, yeah, They've yeah. seen They've that seen shit. That. Everyone's everyone's doing it. They want to know how to get out of the fucking mud. They want to know what you're doing to get out of the mud. They want to know all the stuff that goes on in your mind because 
that's the stuff that they can relate to and the stuff that they can then mirror in their lives. And so, like, I think it's important, you know, for, for you guys to continue to remember that. Yo, what is the more effective thing that I do to leave a mark on this planet? Is it creating music that it that I feel good about or is it really showing what I'm like on the inside and giving people something to take home with them? Yeah, and I, I think that's why, like, with, you know, certain music, people like, you know, XXX, Tentacion, like, <laughs> bro, like, his with his music, people can relate to it. That mm. like, there's just that connection. Mm -hmm. Whereas like, if you're just there, like, oh, you know, I go into the club, everyone looks at me. You know, I got money, blah blah blah. I'm strippers, blah blah this, blah. Like, I mean, yeah, I guess there's a little connection. Like, you do that every now and then, but like, you know, we're all human, and we all go through human things, and we go through problems, we go through highs and lows, and you know, trying to talk about that and assess that is it's intriguing. So we were just in Stad for new year's stad switzerland oh snow yeah and uh dude we were in a room uh once where the total net worth was over a trillion dollars over a trillion mm. there were more billionaires there than there were not billionaires there what actually absurd but what we found was they got the same fucking problems that we do yeah yeah man and we got the same fucking problems yeah, that everyone yeah, has yeah, watching yeah. this granted all right Money helps. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Oh yeah, money, oh money, yeah, of course. Money helps. Oh, it I'm makes not, it. I don't want to whine. It helps with but comfort. Bingo, bingo, 100%. bingo. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's like a, it's like a temporary little like, uh, coating on a cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the insides are still the same. Yes. And 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 I think there's like a, a through line of relatability that um creators in general are 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 much better at um showing and 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 being transparent to the people watching. Yeah. Everybody bleeds oh. the same. Everybody breathes the same. The the money is comfort and security. Yeah. That, and and those are huge things. Don't get me wrong. But it also, as you know, I'm sure, and can attest to, brings its own problems. Have you seen having money and 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 like what kind of problems have you dealt with? What are the biggest downfalls of being a, a famous creator? Because you know every kid watching this wants to be you. Or I be think. Logan. I think. If I'm being honest, it's more the fame has been more of a problem than the money. I think if I was like a private quiet millionaire billionaire yeah like i think life would be easier than being a famous millionaire billionaire i think with me a, a, a big problem especially with my ex or you know any of the girls i was with like having people always just constantly coming up to us like all the time like even when i'm like eating dinner and you know normally with someone like Let's say, um, I remember I went to, what's it called? I think it was Hakkasan or Novikov. I think it was Hakkasan. Uh, and Fredo was there. Keanu Reeves was there. Just, they're all just chilling. And, you know, I was there and I was like, out of all those three people, everyone would just come to me. <laughs> like, I would we be the one that people it. would just walk to and just be like, hey, yo, what's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> Someone like Fredo, they'd just be like, oh, shit, that's Fredo. And that, leave it at that. Or Keanu Reeves, you'll just look and be like, Fuck, and that's it. Whereas with me, it's like, you come up to me. I, you demand the photo. And you d and it's just like... Have you seen his roundhouses? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the man kick? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I've seen how he yields a weapon, though. Have you seen him box? Um, <laughs> you talking about uh, Keanu? Yes, he'd be my best friend. I uh, no, he'd, he'd, he'd fuck me up though. Like, no, I, no, he'd... what with a fucking gun? Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He, Damn, bro. Yeah, he could wield. He could yeah, wield. yeah. <laughs> Supposedly that new that new Matrix is. Yeah, it's not. It's not him. Oh, yeah, Did you hear that's the that's why they made it though. N probably not. The was. writer was like going through something like personal. And it was her only way of getting out of it. That's what I heard. Oh, well, great, uh, for, great for the one person. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's shit for everybody who bought a ticket to that fucking movie. I, I've not seen one person that Dude, was Dude, I was like, expecting oh, no. so much of a different answer. No. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting like, oh, oh no, I heard yeah. that. No, I it's just not a reason actually, to fund a multi yeah, actually, billion now, you know dollar what? movie. The movie is actually pretty good now. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking she, of good ass movies, Spider-Man had me Fucking yeah, 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 yeah. One sick. of the craziest sick, I ever seen. Yeah. Don't spoil it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty much spoiled at this point. If you haven't watched <laughs> it by now, then I'm I'm tough I'm luck. I haven't. Yeah. Right, you so haven't so spoil, it. spoil it. You haven't seen Spider Man. Spoil it. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I just no, watched no, it no, yesterday. No. And if I if I, I if I spoil it, I'd, I'd, people would actually get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Do you do you think the reason why people uh, come up to you is because of what we talked about earlier about how open you are? Like no. they feel like they know you. That's my homie. That's my homie JJ. Well, I think, you know what yeah, I'm it's just because essentially people know me more than I know myself. Yeah. <laughs> like I've been online for ten plus years, and I've been you know doing YouTube the whole time, and they've just seen my growth. So yeah, it's like that. It's like. I, you know, like we're friends. And it's like, I've never met the person. They come up to me like, yo, what's up, Jay? How you doing? And it's crazy. Like people who are like my friends or who are with me think, oh, you know him or her. And I'm like, I've never met him or her in my life. <laughs> do you have to <laughs> pretend like you do sometimes? Uh, well, yeah, I, no, no. I, I kind of just go, you know, I don't know you, but like, what's yeah, up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then, you know, obviously if they ask for a photo, I take a photo. But like, I, I take a photo if I'm not doing anything. I, you know, if I'm doing something I and I go, oh, I'm sorry, man, I'm kind of busy right now. Some people don't understand that and it can be really annoying and frustrating. Some people understand that are really cool, but like some people just are just there like, no, bro, it's just a photo. It'll take two seconds. And I'm like, no, it, it, it isn't just two seconds because if I take a photo with you, they have to take a photo with the next Everybody. person <laughs> and the next person, the next person. When people and tell you, when people tell you, last one, last one, you know what I say? I go, okay. You're gonna tell everyone else that yours was the last one. Yeah. After we take this one, right? <laughs> but but I, you gotta try. So yeah. You gotta try. Yeah. You, your friend Randolph. Yes. Is gonna be a dad. He's gonna be a dad. Oh yeah. Dad, his his bro. video and all your guys' reactions made me tear up, man. Bro, it's it's just crazy. Like it, it made me think like shit. I'm getting old. <laughs> like, yeah, it's getting to that. How point. do you think I feel? <laughs> 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 that was his most, most sincere laugh on the podcast. <laughs> How do you think I fucking feel, man? I'm just a dinosaur. <laughs> Shit, sorry, bro. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, like it's it's crazy. Even like Vic getting engaged as well. That too, I saw that. Bro, like, so 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 you're seeing your friends around you fully going into. Hey, I'm an adult now yeah, with a family. Yeah. And you just kind of kind the, of the just opposite. Did the op complete opposite. And now it's just me and Toby being single. Uh where whereas everyone else is just in a relationship for quite a while now and how the girl how the, how the girl's been? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean this bro, this could be we could be here for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's looking at me like, oh. <laughs> I mean, look, I guess, I mean, okay, well, I had one girl, but me, bro. I think this is one of the reasons why I had COVID and then after it, I had tonsillitis. Because um, the girl? No, 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 not because, so, not because of what she did to me, or maybe, I don't know. What happened? Basically, <laughs> I saw, are I, you okay? So there was, there was this girl, um, I don't want to say too much, but like, she, yeah, she's really nice, she, lovely person, um, really got along. Uh, and then there was one thing she told me. She said that she used to be a devil worshiper. I, d no. And I was like, I laughed. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, hail Satan and all that shit. And she was He's like, you yeah. anything to smash? She's like, yeah, bro, 666. <laughs> He's like, 69, that's 666, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like doing blood sacrifices over. Yeah, him. yeah. I was like, nah, you're taking a piss. And she was like, yeah, yeah. Like the whole Ouija board shit and everything. She believed that. And I was like, what? And she was like, obviously now I don't. You know, I'm I'm not really that into it. And I was like, mm. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not really that wait, into wait, wait, it. Wait, wait, you guys hook up? Uh, no, this was after we like hooked up and all. Oh, so yeah, okay. So, that is literally the so that is was, the scariest thing. So what is she pregnant now? I've already <laughs> no, 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 no. With the devil, with the devil. No, 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 no. She's bro, like, bro, 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 wrapped up, <laughs> all wrapped up, bro. I always wrap up. Oh, wow, always wrap nice. up. Yeah, sharp, yeah, yeah. Sharp. But like, it's how much we sharp. Sharp. What, what? Sharp. 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 Oh, okay. Congrats, <laughs> Congrats bro. Yeah, yeah. So when she told me that, bro, I was like, yeah, man. In back of my head, I was like, I got. End this, bro. I got to cut this up because I could already hear my mom screaming like, "Ah, ah! You know, what? <laughs> are you mad? I devil watch up. Ah, I have to all I've done for you. Church every Sunday for eighteen years, and you want to bring home a devil watch up? Say <laughs> 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 Satan at my doorstep. The, gr the girl enters his house like. <laughs> 
just coming in like this. <laughs> No wonder he smashed. <laughs> she, She's like, you should see her head. She can do a back man. She can do a back man. Not that out. No shit. Right. <laughs> this ain't so bad. Damn. She comes <laughs> like, oh, oh, man. But yeah, no, as soon as I, as soon as I saw seeing her, bro, got COVID. And then tonsillitis. I was like, yeah, she... Put a spell on oh, me. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. she's got a little doll of you. That she pokes. <laughs> <laughs> she pokes. With I'm like, spins. I don't know what what I'm about to get next. Like, shit. A child. I, Whoa. <laughs> a child. You just thought she was gonna tell you she does OnlyFans. She's, yes. a, she's an only only a fan of the devil. <laughs> Run, wait, wild. Holy wild. Shit, bro. But yeah, bro. Like, <sighs> like. Oh my god. Like, like. These past few months, bro, dating, I've been, but like, like, well, how many dates would you go um, in a week? What's like a normal amount? If I was single? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I was more of a type of guy that I like, I found a few people that I was interested in and spent time with them. Roster I also guy. let them knew that like, I I'm single. Okay. So like, I, I wasn't like. It's I called a roster. We George. do rosters here in LA. Okay. You guys are sluts. Bench, Don't bench. compare me to you. What guys. you're saying what? is the exact you same guys thing. You are sluts. No. You're a romantic slut. You're like the worst yes, type of slut. Yes. You're like, I love you, Mick Lott. <laughs> yes. And then, and, then, and then he'll use his own tears for a loop. He's like, why does she love me? <laughs> First off, I, I find this completely inappropriate. You know, you, know many, you know how many toothbrushes this kid has? It's like 40 girls' toothbrushes. I live in Puerto Rico. Puerto. I, live in Puerto, I live in Puerto Rico. All right, so yeah. How are you having so much? Like, where do they come from? No, no, no. No, no. I'm, I'm abstinent for 2022. Wait, no. have, have you ever flown a girl out? Have you ever flown yeah, yeah, yeah. a girl I've, out? Have I ever? I'm trying it's to like think. Southwest. You, you, you've not? Like you've I'm not? trying to think. I don't think I... I don't think I... Oh, I have, but it's for a diss track. Uh, who, who was it? Uh, net Nobody. That doesn't oh, yeah, count. That doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, that's oh, work, okay, that's okay, work okay, yeah. yeah. But you fine, you would too. That doesn't work. <laughs> if you were on a, a, a secluded island in the middle of the Atlantic, yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah, you're yeah. in London, you got some tings there. You don't right? got a choice. Yeah, you thing, don't got yeah. Yeah, plenty of girls in London. How, how many dates you going on? Bro, seven. <laughs> one a, a week? One no, one a day. Wow. One a day, bro. One different girls, bro, bro. And it was like that for like Two, two, three months. Oh my god! Define Bro. date. What are these dates like? Tell me, what, like, what well, a normal date. Is, it was, it was. I think for me, it was quite nice just to like, because I'm so used to always talking about myself. It was nice to talk to a woman and be like, oh, let me know about your life. Let me know about what you're doing. <laughs> you guys what? really are hey, similar. Yo, yo, oh, are hey, your girlfriend's screaming in a room. <laughs> 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 Good to talk about somebody else besides myself. <laughs> and then you just got this angel goes straight to the devil worshiper. <laughs> shit. <laughs> that is a lot of dates, man. Yeah, bro. Like Holy it was shit. it was it's stupid the amount. Bro, and I bro, I was talking to like 14 plus women at the same time. WhatsApp. Do they know that do, are you open about talking? Oh yeah, to I was open, women? like, you know, oh, I'm seeing, you know, different women. What what is But they didn't know it was like fourteen. <laughs> can I ask can, <laughs> can I ask what the uh what the culture is like in, in London? Like are you going on dates and are are you fucking on after the dates? Um, it kinda depends. Like sometimes um if the girl was up for it, then yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But I never pushed. I, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, I, sure. I was just there like whatever happens, happens. And uh, I'd sometimes go on a few dates and then we'll do it. And then sometimes it'd be one day and then we'll do it. It's just, but it's. The problem is, not, not, not the problem is, <laughs> your, the game you just described, your, yeah. your game of, of asking questions and really listening and really taking an interest in the yeah. girl is, is it's, it's not my approach. It's just like how I am. Like, yeah, I also yeah. like, like listening. I don't, I don't want to talk about myself. Like, that's yeah, the last yeah. thing I want. I do that here. You know, yeah, exactly. Um, but it's, it, yeah. but, 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 you know, everyone wants to be heard. Everyone wants to be yeah. heard. My number one piece of feedback I get from uh, women that I'm involved with is uh, I feel very seen by you. Mm. And, and I imagine you probably give the girls a similar type of uh, attention. Well, yeah, bro. I like, I would send them like either like long voice notes mm. or mm. paragraphs of just text of just like what I was doing in my day mm. and stuff like that. And, you know, like, a lot of people just don't put that effort. Agree. 
Okay. And I don't know, it's, I don't know how the fuck I was able to even do it to that many women. Like I'd have <laughs> to write notes on like different women just to make sure I'd remember. <laughs> Remember, that seems like, like so much work, bro. It, bro, it is, it is, and like that's why, like I've now stopped seeing all women. Y'all are I've, the same person. Yo, listen, what? JJ, it's listen so to this for a second. Odd. It's so. I odd. have been yelling at this kid for sending what I call novels. I'll look over his yeah, shoulder, yeah, yeah. and he's forty bro, bars bro, down yeah. to some girl, and I'm like, dude, you haven't talked to this girl. I'm like, he's like, no, I have. Trust me, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's like chapter six of one text oh, bro, that bro. he's sending, and then. At the, probably like a month and a half ago, he goes, done with girls. I'm done with, he goes, I'm done, done with women. I go, you like guys now? Like what happened? He goes, I don't know. I'm just done with women. Yeah. You so just, you guys are literally moving in fucking it's, parallel. It's odd, that's, that's jokes. You guys ever feel like you're picking the wrong, well, you are picking the wrong one. Have you ever felt like you guys are just like, <laughs> Like, where the fuck did you even meet? Where did you meet bro? Satan, girl? <laughs> He's, He's like, like, church. I don't know what you He's like, like, me and Simon, we had the Ouija board out. And all of a sudden, she just came she, out of nowhere. She the appeared door. in the corner of the room. She's, She's looking bad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it was like paranormal activity. You see a camera, but instead of like the bed, like throwing him around, just like just turning him around and just like playing around. Like, I was um, gonna say something. No, no. Like, so it's it's all just rare, bro. All the girls. Nice. Just Ooh. what? <laughs> oh no. Uh -huh. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> we have decided not to. <laughs> what out? I got banned from Raya. Raya. You got banned. Yeah. How? how? <laughs> I don't know. I was on there for 12 hours. 12 hours? I did nothing wrong. Wait, what? Even got some good matches. Beautiful women on Raya. And all of a sudden, I came. I was greeted with a screen that was half completed. Like, this was definitely the first time they had shown this screen to any user. Like, I was the guinea pig. Yeah. And it said, due to uh, extenuating circumstances, Raya, Raya has decided not to. <laughs> Didn't even finish the sentence. <laughs> did not even finish. Did not even finish, not to, oh, did not it, even finish <laughs> the sentence. Like they hadn't even completed this screen on the user interface in case a user was no longer allowed on their platform. So I'm assuming I probably upset one of the founders uh, in real life, yeah. and they have, like hand selected me to be blacklisted. Damn. Why this is problematic is because like. He needs Yo, it's, it. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how the fuck to meet yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. And like, do you use Tinder? No, no, no. Just strictly Instagram. Hinge? Instagram. No, nothing. So I, I, I used Instagram once, where I actually DM'd a girl once. And one, sorry, wait. One, that, one. You've DM'd one girl. One girl in my life. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time <laughs> I've ever like DM'd a girl, and it was crazy, bro. I felt like a little kid. I sent, I sent her a message. And then I just dropped my phone like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's scary. Yeah, it's, bro. it's scary, I was man. like, shit, all right, well. And I just kept looking to see if she see it. I'm like, oh, bro, what's wrong yeah, with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she replied. And I was like, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> and like, she was down like to chill. I'm like, yeah, no. yeah. So, yeah, that was like the first time. And I've never done it since. It's horrifying. I, I just, it's not it's, really my yeah, thing. Yeah, but it becomes yeah. a, eventually becomes a science where you know that every single DM you you put out is getting responded to positively. Like, really? I was, what's your what's for your every, no, what's, every? I did send one yesterday that didn't get a response. I'll, yeah, I'll show it's, it. It's to only you yesterday. If you want. I'd like, I'd like to see it. It's really bad. I'd like to see it. Okay, okay. You know how you wait for the right story to respond to, so you have something very witty to say to them. Which, by the way, JJ, is the game. Should you decide, don't to message, to don't hit send message. Find the right story that you can relate to and come up with some witty banter to their, send back to story it. That their they story that they've yes. posted because uh. they're they're happening in real time and they can relate to what you're saying. Maybe you can relate to their story. Okay. Yesterday, Smooth. there was this girl that I wanted to DM because I was in New York at the time and she was in New York at the time. So I was like, damn, I'm running low on options here. I'm just gonna <laughs> come up with some dumb shit. And this is somebody that I've been like kind of holding in my saved collection for a while now. Mm. And I sent out a real subpar DM. And it, and, and once, by the way, once you miss, it's over. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, sure, you, yeah. There's no right, second right, chance. There's no yeah. coming be back. Because, right. because by the way, I, either she definitely saw it. She's like, this guy's a fucking idiot. Moron. Or do you unsend and now you're that pussy. Well, oh, now when you go to the DM, yeah, it says yeah, this person sent guy? you a message. Oh, yeah. You want to be unsend guy? I've, yeah, yeah. I've, I've never done anything like that. Yeah. 
No, nah, my I, I I still got some some DMs that aren't uh, aren't open. The biggest one that I have failed on is uh, Anya Taylor Joy, the uh, the Queen's Gambit girl. Still just still just hanging there. Just, yeah, wait, so there. you legit like just sit, famous famous women? You yeah. just JJ. I have very like fuck. My, I just, <laughs> no, 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 because I don't. Uh, I'm 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 particular as fuck. I probably I probably said ten DMs a year, maybe. Which Mad, yeah, which isn't a lot, but well, what, do you, do you, would you say you have a type? No, bad bitches. Bad. That's bitches. the only thing that he likes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just, it, was a, it was a song. song. Bad, oh. bad bitches is the only oh, thing yeah, that yeah, I yeah, like. Yeah, 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 <laughs> nah, uh, nah, no type, no type. Mikey, let me see this. I, I am, I am strong. I see him. I, I, he's I, doing I, oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> it's this is the worst mat. The the worst I've ever sat in my life. It was a, it was just for context. It was a story of her in New York City, and I'm like, I don't. Read it. <laughs> was New Year's good or was everyone scared? Go outside. Wait, what? <laughs> not, Obviously, it's not, not my even, best. It's not even funny. It's no, it not wasn't even funny to like, talk about. It's just sad. I feel sad. <laughs> it's for kinda, it's... That's what you say to somebody at the grocery store when you don't want to talk to them. <laughs> What? That's very New York. New York had an Omicron surge, so okay. people were like kind of not going out, and everyone was kind of scared. Okay. But it, yeah, it, it was awful. It was awful, and I, you know I'm more than willing to what? listen. You can't if just. She just replied, like, yeah, yeah it sucks. Yeah, everyone's scared. Then I'm in, and I'll figure it out. But like okay. that was just it, it, it was it was awful. It was awful. I I generally don't do that. Is there, is there ever a response that you're like, I can't work with this? Yeah, well, uh, that happens all the time. So, uh, okay. so, so when you send a very relaxed response to their story and they respond, sometimes they'll just respond with one word. I'll never talk to the girl ever again. Okay, like if they respond with one word, they're not. I'm just done. Yeah, they I walk. Away, I walk away yeah, from yeah. it exactly. Okay. But uh, occasionally, bro, the majority of times you send a, a, a DM response to a story, they'll come back with some with some fun shit, and you have a good conversation. Like it, it I, I, it's generally oh, wow. not. Do you do you check to see if uh, anyone's DM'd you? Cause Inst no. Instagram has a top request button now. Yeah, but mine's just like fucked. My, mine mine is mine way work. glitchy, right? Yeah, yeah. Way so glitchy. I, I'm just yeah, like, didn't uh, it work for like a month? That's it, it works for a couple off? days at a time, and then it stops, and it just ah, mixes dude. up all the the messages. Yeah, so I'm just like, just, I just don't waste my time with that. Right. So I guess that's why I just dang up. I just am confused, just the energy of for the dates, man. Because like, I'm afraid to get caught on a date with someone who like is fucking sucky. Or, or 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 boring. But or, even or, if they're boring or sucky, then I just make it interesting. Uh, Bingo. Uh, <laughs> Bing, I love I love that. No, but I, then I just like come up with just like let's do headstands. Well, no. Get the you get the Ouija board. <laughs> get, the, get, the, get, the, get the leader hosen. No, no, but like just, just, just like just random shit. Just like oh, uh, um, would well, you? All right, if you're in between, why? Okay, let's say. Okay, would you rather eat your dad's ass or your mom's ass? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, just shit like that. And yeah, yeah, first yeah. of all, she'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, see, I never thought about but that. But then I'll be like, "No, but like, you know, I'm just spicing up the conversation." <laughs> be like, "You suck," and I had no choice but to say something <laughs> extremely fucked up. <laughs> do, you just, do you start drinking more? Do you drink? Uh, yeah, yeah, I drink, I drink. So you, when if the girls, if it kind of sucks, the date sucks, do you pour it on a little bit heavier? I know, I just drink anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna drink anyway. Yeah. Oh no, there's some, there's some sometimes when she doesn't drink, and then it's like it'd be weird for me to drink. So then I, I always feel like a fucking degenerate when I'm ordering like double Moscow mules and they're just drinking water, and then eventually <laughs> I, I have to just chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm at the by the end of the date. You know, I'm I'm feeling way too probably good. There's <laughs> <laughs> bones. I think I think one thing I told myself I'd never ever do is date a singer. I don't think I'll ever date a singer. Why? Because you got to think when, let's say you're dating a singer, like what's she writing about? Oh yeah, her life, hundred oh, percent. Yeah, uh, you know, and chances are it's gonna be about you, and you know, obviously a relationship isn't just. You know, there's going to be some lows yeah. as well. So, yeah. you know, like, and I feel like with that, especially with two musicians, like, well, I don't know how Jay-Z and um, Beyonce. I have no, I have no it. idea yeah, how they do but that. But like, <clears throat> a lot of times there's a bit of a, <clears throat> I know, what's the word? Lemonade like? it was about Jay-Z yeah, cheating, yeah. right? Wasn't it? Yeah, there's a, yeah, a bunch yeah. of them. But does, wouldn't that scare you no matter what uh, vertical of entertainment they're in? Like, the idea of dating somebody else who has a voice and is famous, like, Unless you can, unless you can confirm the 
eternal 24 7 sanity of that person you're putting yourself at a little bit of risk you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah and you'd have to be 100 percent with that woman and yeah it's it's one of the things where like you don't know, like, if you have a bad day, she might go on Twitter and just go da 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 da. You don't say. I've, and been, then through, it's I've like, been through it. I've been through it heavily, bro. I feel like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bro, just talk to me, you know, privately, et cetera. So it's, it's, it's hard to find, like, a, the right woman for I thought I thought you were going to say because they're fucking crazy, man. What, what? Sing, singers, actresses, female artists, if male artists, all artists. Well, but I just happened to have been dealing with female artists. Well, I didn't want to say it like that, but I, I'll be honest, bro. They're fucking crazy, well, and, which is why they're great at art. Correct. Yeah. And which is, yeah. by the way, yeah. also unfortunately why I fucking love them. Because like, there's a level there where I we could just talk about just this weird like creative art form. Yeah. That it, I I I can't maybe with um you know the 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 uh, the lawyer. Girl, or the girl who's uh, studying in college, right? The mm. the educated girl. Yeah, but then you can grow her into it. <sighs> you, <laughs> some of that some of that weirdness is either in you or it's not. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, like one true, of the things that's true, hard to true, teach. Yeah. Uh, the the first time I ever got like really f like the first time in a relationship, I was doing a self tape with my girlfriend, and she had this really crazy scene where she had to break down crying. And I remember reading it, and I was like, in my head, I go, "This is a tough scene, bro. I don't think she's gonna <laughs> fucking get this." Bro, she blew me away, and for like a week, it fucked me up. I was like, has this bitch been lying to me when she's crying? Because like, it was so, dude, I swear, even the way she wiped her tear when she was looking at the camera, I was like, I've seen this. Oh I've seen this when she said she was sorry. Was she sorry? And it like really messed me up. So now like dead ass, like, I, like an asshole, she's crying. I'm like, yo, cut the shit. Like, is this real or not? And she's like, what the fuck are you saying? Are you like, crying, oh. Yeah. You used to deal with that too. I, I, made, a, I made a rule. Don't, don't date actresses. So no singers. They can just lie. Well, yeah, they can yeah, just yeah, lie. Once again, yeah, yeah, two yeah. entertainment verticals that you won't date. Like, what else do you guys have in fucking well, college? Well, you well, don't well, date well, singers. Well, you don't well, date actresses. That's, that's, that's also like, what's reason, good? That's one of the reasons I'm like, I don't think I could date someone in my field. I've kind of fucked myself because I've kind of entered so many fields. <laughs> Shit. No, uh, no, bus do. no yeah. business women, no singers, yeah, yeah. No, no fighters, no YouTubers, no Can't entertainers. A uh, person who sells drinks now. Like yeah, just yeah. <laughs> so that's why. He's like, I don't worship the devil. So she's, so she's perfect. She's like, come, drink from my cup. He's like, no, drink from my cup, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> this is prime hydration. I was going to ask you your... your this is business related. I was gonna mm. ask you a drink of choice, and my I, I hope that you. Ain't, I, I'm sure you're primed up to answer this properly. Not your alcohol drink of choice. Oh, oh, um, what? What? Just in general? Don't you have a first an alcohol? Dr first drink of the night? You Whoa. sit down. Can I get a? I'll say Bailey's. Okay, I, I know I, you I expect me to say X I X. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's actually just a Bailey's. Like, what is Bailey's, by the way? Creamy. It's like a creamy. Is, now, isn't that from old, like, I'm old Greg. You ever drink Bailey's out of a shoe? <laughs> yes, okay, that's where it's from. That's where I heard you it. You ever go to a club where people wee on each other? Wait, I'm old Greg. Wait, I'm old Greg. Wait, I'm old Greg. Wait, you went to the box. <laughs> wait. <gasps> wait, what are you talking about? That's a place in uh, Was that what old in Greg London. was talking about? The box. Oh, my God. Wow. Do you know old Greg, first off? Um, okay, I, okay. I know of. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yes, I've been to the box. The answer is yes. Okay. Um, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to see anyone weeing or pooping on each other. Uh, I know. You got half the experience. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. What the fuck did you guys just say? Yeah. <laughs> Pee and poop on each other? It gets worse, yeah, yeah, it, How it, does it get worse oh, than oh, pee and oh, poop? Oh, 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 trust me. Okay, one example. I know where um, you found the girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's like this. So how long have you been here? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there was one where there was uh, a guy um, who had tits on. I don't know. Well, I, I guess transgender yep. or trans. I don't know. But like. Basically, um, they started just stuffing stuff up their ass. How, how much stuff could they just get just yeah. continuously, uh, and then started squaring it out uh, on people? Yeah, uh, just like that type of shit, bro. It's that mad. type of shit. I've never yeah, seen yeah. that type of shit before. But then, but <laughs> have you have you ever been downstairs? Yeah. So I've never been downstairs, but I heard it's just a massive orgy. 
Oh, no, wait. Maybe not that far downstairs. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. How, how many downstairs are out? there? What? It's like a secret <laughs> club. He's like, yeah, I've been there. Because, well, yeah, because yeah, you like, know it's a franchise, right? It's in New York. It's in London. Wait, there's one in... Oh, yeah. It's oh, the same shit. box in New York? <laughs> it is. <laughs> I've never seen a long one like that. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wait, are, okay. I, and mind you, I'm not trying to play stupid. Like, what do you mean by, like, they're just pooping and peeing on it? Why would anybody come and... Georgie, just... how else can we say this to you? But why is it an establishment? <laughs> that I actually... Great understand. question. How's that how is that model? even a thing? How's why do you thing? get well, a job there? Well, it's because it's... <laughs> <laughs> what are the job like, applications? Are felons allowed process. to be there? Are they like checking credit background? Like, what is the deal? How do listen, you, listen, they're just listen. checking bladders. She's, they're like, I have an extremely deep and large rectum. I can probably fit most things up there. And they're, and they're, they're like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> like, well, how do you get a job there? I don't know. Are I've, they good seen, looking people? Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, Why are you guys there so much? Why no, is no, like, I've, no, I've, no. Only, I've only been once. You go I've one. You go one, one time because just, just to see it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Got you, you have to see. Okay. You have to see it. But did you, you go with friends or did you got? Oh, of course. Okay. Well, by myself. I went. Why are you there, there? Go, bro? You're making it seem like it's even normal to be there. <laughs> Let's go by myself. Experience. <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting home one day. You're like, I heard there's a place where they shit on. Let me go explore it alone. I went alone. Do they sell food there? Yeah, it comes out of people's asses. Um, <laughs> no, no. It's, um, oh my God, well, I'm trying to think. There's another place in Berlin. I yeah, oh, what, that. Oh. There's Tic Tac. Tic Tac in Berlin and, and Burn, whatever that, the one yeah. with the B is. Those are the most fucked up But I've in the never world. been able to get in. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, it's like. You have to be dressed. Have you guys got? Nah, I've never yeah. been in. Like, they turn you away at the door. Or yeah. Some guy just decides. Just decide. He looks at you and go, nah. Yeah, the tick yeah. the tic tac one. I think that's what it's called. You go in and the first thing they do is hand you a hanger. You take your clothes off immediately. Huh? Immediately upon entry. What? Otherwise, you ain't going in. Shit. The the one you're talking about is is like burn burner. I can't remember what it's called, I but that's like the called. main one. But yeah, where it's like you see some crazy up shit. shit, like the box, but like you, you're experiencing it. Yeah, well. you can jump in. Like I mean, as long as there. it's cool, you can get involved yeah. in the sex. Okay, so the box is like an entertainment thing. You go to watch it. Yes, it's more of a watching thing. Oh, yeah, burlesque, burlesque, yeah, yeah. And it's it's always cool. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. The play, like that's the style that the that the oh, box is. Okay. It's like burlesque yeah, 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 entertainment. Yeah, 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 burlesque, you watch yeah. fucked up shit. I am happen. so curious on how that started. I met, I met, forever. I met the guy. I met the guy who founded the box in London at Chiltern. Wow. Oh wow. I met him, and as soon as I met him, I said. Now I get it. Makes sense. No. <laughs> it's so one of those. No yeah, but it's not the only. I mean, even like Cirque is a little weird. You guys got a lot of weird. Yeah, Cirque is a, a little bit, but it's not as crazy. Not even as close. close. Yeah, yeah, not even close. But I, I, I don't know. It's just like a show while you're drinking, have a pie. It's like, oh, you just see a show. I got, <laughs> I got, I got a show for you. So you you started this business with uh, with Logan, mm. uh, but as most people know. He's the popular older brother of a different Paul Hammer. <laughs> and I Big just want to ask you a couple I just want to ask go. you a couple questions we before we go, go too far today. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> All right, let's go then. I'm ready. Okay. So does being in business now with the older brother mm. uh kind of uh, revise or edit the way that you would talk normally no. about Got it. No, I still fucking hate him. I'm Got sorry, it. Logan. But yeah, I think he's a cunt. Yeah. Oh, a cunt. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, obviously he's he's smashed it. Mm -hmm. Like he's killed it. Like, you know, like with what he's done, yeah, fair fucking play. Like, it's it's pretty good. Like, knocking the way he knocked out Woodley, stupid. Like, and people are saying it's fake. It's not fake. Like he cleaned him out and it was like a great mm -hmm. shot. But I don't know. I just for me, like, I can't in my heart be like Oh, I like him now. Like, I just can't. I don't know. It's like... It, a, a lot of bad blood. There's a lot of bad blood Yeah, there. yeah. But it's like there was also bad blood with you and Logan for a long time. Do you ever see a day where, where Jake is able to either provide something to you or make you feel in a certain way like you I guys think, become friends? I think maybe when I beat him. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, look, look, I know everyone's <laughs> always going, okay, all right, shut the fuck up, KSI. You haven't been in the ring for so long. You're not gonna be able to beat Jake Paul. Look at Jake Paul. Look at blah 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 blah. But then I go, styles make fights. Like if you find a certain person that Jake is just horrible against, and you know he's had less experience than Jake, 
he's still going to beat Jake because he knows that he he knows like what works against Jake compared to what Jake tries to do with the person he's fighting, etc. So that has a different I, style. I would I would. I would say you have to be in part. You have to just. <laughs> this is going to be so it's, fucking interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a <laughs> weird one for you. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's drinking your prime. He's like, he's like, all right. All right. Nah, bro, sponsorship, bro. sponsorship. <laughs> Yo, my business partner versus my brother. I say, yeah. It's, it's, uh, so I'm, I'll probably just go like hands off and like both sides. Yeah, like, yeah, best yeah, of luck. Best like, of luck. Love thing. on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like bro. I, we had our shit. I yeah, ain't going yeah, back. Exactly. Yeah, I ain't yeah, going yeah, back there, bro. Yeah. We got a company. Yeah, yeah. It's we're, over. We're, we're, we're winning now. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. over. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I love Jake. So uh, I will strictly, if you guys ever fight, be watching to be fucking entertained <laughs> as shit. And I will be having so much fun <laughs> playing the middleman. <laughs> like, I would be a stress. I, I want to do I want to do the press conference. Like, I want to be asking the questions type shit. What, yeah, the, like yeah. the Ed Sheeran? Sheer- yeah, I want to be Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh fuck! Sorry. Eddie hurt. Eddie, Eddie hurt. Had, yeah, 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 Eddie hurt. Yeah. I, I want to see that fight really, really badly, and I know it's it, mainly because the one thing that I think the both of you have, and I, and I, I know you mentioned fighting styles, and you guys have very different fighting styles. And Jake is a very good fighter. Mm. He, I, I really do believe. I believe that the one thing that he does is he puts his life into it, and I mean yeah, that, and, yeah, he, yeah, and he yeah, always yeah, does. No, he does. The one thing that I think that you both have is a, is an animalistic desire to draw blood. And I and I honestly believe that you guys, when you guys get in the ring, I mean, dude, I I full transparency, I hated watching you fight Logan. <laughs> I fucking hate. It. I would stand there and just fucking clench my fist, and I, I didn't even want to watch it because, well, he's a very technical boxer, and I yeah. think he trains very hard. You 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 look like the person who has the intent on inflicting damage as yeah, fast yeah, as yeah, possible, yeah, yeah. and that scared me. <laughs> As, as his best friend, that scared the shit out yeah, of me. Yeah. And, and so, like, I want to see what happens when two people who are both, who are both hate like that, that yeah, hatred yeah, yeah, and that yeah. animalistic capability see each other in the ring. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and, it, and I think everybody wants, would yeah, like bro, to see that fight. I know everyone wants to see the fight. And it's annoying. Like, you know, I've told my manager and everyone around me, all my team, that like, I want to fight. It's just obviously because of, like, Everyone's. I was always gonna be like, oh, you're always just docking him. You're always trying to make yourself busy. It's not like no, that. No, it's no, no, just no. like when I've tried to find time, things always find a way, and then it's hard for me, like, just to say, oh, I can't do that now. Like, it's so I've kind of set in advance where I've gone. This is what I want. I want to stop, you know, everything here, so I can have time to train. I'm properly, you know, That's getting so away and stuff. I know, but it's like I've had to do it in advance. And obviously COVID hasn't helped and all these other situations haven't helped and slowed everything down. But like, you know, I've got to like work with sidemen stuff. It's that's every week. And, you know, obviously we're doing side plus, we got the you know, XIX, all these other fucking brands. And it's like having to work towards that and find times for that is like one thing. Music as well, working on the next album, like, you know, I'm signing a new deal and you know they're not going to be like yeah we'll just wait for you to fight uh you know we've given you this advance blah 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 we'll just wait for you to just fight and that'll be it like no like they're going to be like we want to see our money work we want to see what happens so it's like i have to work on that um and yeah there's just a load of other things that i've had to just deal with and like work on and it's like now you know once i get the time once i get the point where I've told my team this is where I want to stop everything so I can actually find time to train and you know really mm. work on fighting again and this bless and because you know like I've been itching it's <laughs> it's bro like it fucking irks me to see Jake just destroying everyone and winning and just everyone constantly like being like oh wow JJ you pussy look look what Jake's doing from, from an endeavor bro that you started yes yes <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, Jake I mean, Paul, no, you well, Logan Paul, Paul, you started it. But that's why it's so annoying. And people don't think it gets to me. It fucking gets to me. And like, that's why it's annoying that I just have to deal with this. And I have to deal with people just telling me bullshit all the time, over and over and over again. When I'm there, like, bro, I want to get in the ring. I want to fight. But there's just things that just, it's life. You know what I mean? I can't just push everything out of the way because it's just not possible. Camp it's shuts just, everything down. Camp shots yeah, like yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. like that's okay it, I'm it. gonna do this and you have to be in the zone yeah. because it's like warrior you're literally going in there 
to fight another human being and put your life on the line. Simple as that. And you can't just half-heartedly do it. It's just yeah. You can't play with boxing. So, so. What did you uh, What did you think about the 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 Tommy exit? And where do you see Jake going? Uh, what well, we have to wrap up. Oh, they, man, Dylan gave it. Dylan are, gave us. Oh, no, 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 fuck. Three, four yeah, minutes. Nah, That's a whole rolling. other thing. I don't care about Tommy Fury. I don't care about. Okay, I was gonna. Okay, that, that was the, good. The, the, the end cap on the Jake thing though is we talked earlier about people's reality mirroring their art. Mm. Jake isn't that. He puts on a really good show to sell tickets, but I no, promise yeah. you that behind the scenes, his kid's like really changing and becoming. Bro, 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 fuck you. Let him fucking fight and see. Oh, how I want to make sure happens. that he keeps nah. a, a, it open for nah, him. You know? not Jake's, yet. He's nah. becoming a good nah. guy. Dude. I want the uh, he's becoming I want a the good blood. guy. <laughs> well, you know, he's a really good guy. I want, I want the I want the blood. I want the fucking, <laughs> I want the blood shot. <laughs> dude, it's been an honor to have oh, you. Oh, bro, on the it's always, always, bro. So like, good. Yeah, man. I can't wait for this to get 10 million again. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. We'll see. If you guys are listening, thank you so much. Hit that subscribe button. Also, Prime is probably, hopefully, in stores near you. Walmart, Target, Kroger, CVS, GNC, Vitamin Shop. And we soon, hit- soon in the UK. Soon. T- oh. t- Tesco. Tesco, I don't want to Tesco, Tesco I think, as right? the yeah, 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 but like I think in a month, I think a, in, a, a, in a month or two, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, for people who are domestic, there are ten golden Ooh. prime bottles hidden in retailers near you. For those of you who find them, you will be heavily, heavily rewarded. So <laughs> <laughs> go get some prime. Look for the golden bottles. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of Policy. We'll see you next time. Peace.